Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got my April Ipsy and Boxy charm to share with y'all today. So Ipsy did send these to me as PR. So thank you so much Ipsy for sending these my way. So what I like to do is I go ahead and open these up. I try out the goodies inside and then I can kind of share some like quick information and little first impressions and mini reviews with you guys on these products. So if you're new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do unboxings, favorites, new at the drugstore, reviews, empties, get ready with me. It's just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are chatting about April Ipsy and Boxy Charm, so let's get to it. Okay, so first off, my Ipsy, the bag is so cute this time because look, it's a little, I think that's a peach. How cute is that it's so fun that just makes me smile i love it so much and then the outside is like stripy and adorable it's just adorable all around adorable so i got several things in here first off the golden faden md body care body surge hydrating and restoring body moisturizer so i just put like a little bit of this on my hand last night just to try it and i already forgot what i thought about it so let's get it back on my hand i think i remember it smelling kind of like lime yeah it's very citrusy like kind of like lime skittles is how i would describe the scent on it and it feels nice and hydrating kind of a thinner sort of a moisturizer but does feel hydrating so like a thinner texture but still nice and hydrating feeling so that seems fun if you like the scent of lime that's that's how i would describe it and that's just kind of like trying to think about what it smells like. I think it smells kind of limey to me. Then I got the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer and it says Illuminating Moisturizer. So I put a little bit of this kind of on my cheeks because I don't need any extra illumination on my forehead because I have it all set right now, but my natural oils always start to break through. So if I use something kind of illuminating, typically we'll put it mostly like on my cheeks and especially my cheekbones. This is pretty. This is definitely that kind of tinted. It's got like a little bit of a glowy tint to it. Not really a tint, but like a glow. It has a glow to it, but it's subtle. It's not, you know, glittery or super metallic or anything. It's just this subtle, beautiful glow. I think this is really pretty. So if you're looking for that just kind of slight glowy moisturizer to, I guess you could wear it just by itself if you just wanted a little bit of glow on your skin or to pair it with your makeup, I think that's really beautiful. Okay, then I got a brow product. This is the Billion Dollar Brows Billion Dollar Brow Lift. So I used this today with a couple other brow products. So I started out with a pencil and just kind of filled in and then I used a little bit of this and then I went back in with kind of like a brow tinted pen kind of a thing just for last little touch-ups. And this seems nice. I like the little tiny spoolie applicator on it. I would say it is kind of more on the thin watery side. And at first I was like, I don't know if this is really doing anything, but then it's almost like it kind of starts to set and get a little bit more tacky. And then I liked it because then it was starting to kind of hold the brow hairs. Whereas at first it's like you have to kind of just let it sit on your brows for a second. Not too long, because then they're going to be like fully set. But if you want that kind of tacky feeling when you're setting your brows, I would wait just a couple seconds. Or, I mean, if you don't mind a kind of more watery formula, then you can just, you know, apply it and go with it. Hopefully that makes sense. It does set down to kind of have that more like tacky hold, which I like, but it just takes a minute. Okay, then I got this, which is the Byro, Byro, I think, New York. And this is the Pro Berry Pore Refining Toner. So I use this kind of right in here on my face just to kind of patch test it. And that's where I have like the most defined pores. And I feel like I could see maybe like a subtle difference with it. It does have kind of like a, oh, I stuck it up my nose. Um, a little bit of like a, just a fragrance to it. I'm not really sure but it, it has a little bit of a scent to it. I, it's pretty, like it's pretty looking in the packaging and I love little tiny stuff like this because it's so nice for travel. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I could notice it more on this side. This side was looking a little bit more smooth, but I have more defined pores on this side. So I think I could notice like a subtle difference, but maybe not as much as I would with like a pore refining 
moisturizer or a pore refining primer or something like that. But I do really like toners. I've gotten a lot more into toners and essences lately. And the last thing I got in my Ipsy bag is from Kiss and Smink. And this is the Lip Aura Tinted Lip Oil. And this is the shade Peony. So I do have this on right now, but I have it layered over top of a couple of liners. So I will show you a swatch to let you see what it looks like. This is what it looks like. I can't remember. Oh yeah, it has a little bit of like a, I would say kind of fruity sort of a scent. It's not overwhelming or anything. Here is the applicator on it, kind of a flat doe foot. And I would describe this, so it says lip oil. This texture to me feels more like, like a gloss, almost lacquer. It's a little bit thicker than a lip oil to me. It just has a, a, a like a slightly thicker sort of a texture to it, but it still has that beautiful glossy look. It does feel hydrating on the lips. I love this color. It's like a peachy pink, beautiful shade. But yeah, it's just like, it's that beautiful glossy look, but a little bit thicker than a, usually lip oils seem to have a little bit more of a slick feeling. This feels a little bit more, not tacky, but just thicker, like a, a like, like a lacquer. Hopefully that makes sense. So that is everything I got in there. I would say standout favorites, probably the lip oil. I do really like the lip oil and I think the glowy moisturizer. I think that's really beautiful. I would say those are probably my standout favorites and the adorable bag. Okay, now moving on to my BoxyCharm by Ipsy. Here is what it looks like. Let me show you a little look inside. Here is a little look inside. Okay, so first off, I got a couple of skincare-ish sort of products. I don't, is makeup remover considered skincare? I don't really know. But this is from Bor, Borboletta. Borboletta Breakdown Oil-Free Makeup Remover. So I forgot to use this last night to take off my makeup. So I used it today like to kind of clean up under my eyes and then I also put a couple of swatches on my hand just to kind of test to be able to remove it with, to remove the makeup with this. And overall it seems nice. Like it really did clear clean up my under eyes well. Um, I could tell it seemed like a little bit stronger feeling. Like my eyes weren't watering but I was just kind of like, oh, I could I could tell it was there if that even makes sense. You know what I mean? Like the, I don't know if it had fumes. I don't know how I would describe that, but you know what I mean? But my eyes weren't watering, so it wasn't super intense. But then when I put swatches on my hand, like I had, what did I put on there at first? I put a line, like an eyeliner on it first and, and wiped it off, that came off right away. Then I put a liner and I let it set for a while. That one took a little bit of work to get off, but it did take it off completely. So it seems like a nice makeup remover. I mean, it seemed like it did the job. It says oil-free formula feels like water yet emulsifies on contact to completely dissolve even long wear eye makeup. No rubbing or tugging and best of all, no damage to your lashes. So yeah, I mean, I was doing a little back and forth, but maybe if you like kind of press a cotton pad like to your eye or something, just to sort of like let it sit on there and then remove, I could see that working. Okay, then I got the Nip and Fab Renew Retinol Fix Eye Treatment 2%. This is really cute packaging with this purple and the pink, or like, yeah, kind of like, yeah, pink. Cute, really cute. Um, I don't know what all this says about it, but I used this under my eyes last night. I mean, I'm, I'm all about the anti-aging retinol products at this point and I'm, and, and on my eyes too. I mean, I'm, I'm using those kind of products. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's like a squeeze tube. Seemed nice. Didn't make my eyes water at all. Sunk in nicely. Um, I would describe it as kind of like a medium thickness to it like it's not super thin but it's also not heavy feeling either okay then I got the better than sex foreplay which I have an open one so I used my open one so this is the Too Faced better than sex foreplay 24 hour lash primer it says 90% more curl 92% more volume 92% said it intensifies mascara color 89% said they saw more length so I have tried this several times. I've used it multiple times. It's a curvy sort of applicator on it. 
So when you first put this on, I feel like it almost looks like you're wearing mascara because it has that like darker tint to it. And I do feel like it does a great job of kind of separating and give that giving that like fluttery volume look. And then I, this is what I noticed. I have a reel and a TikTok on it too. If you want to see me like trying it just by itself. Um, at first I was just noticing that with it, but then I do feel like from far away, it looks like it adds more length as well, which I really like. The applicator seems to really get at the lashes well because of that curve to it. It is a thicker sort of formula. I don't mind that. Usually my favorite mascaras are that kind of formula. So it's nice that this seems to kind of have that same sort of formula in a primer. And I used it with the Better Than Sex Mascara. So that's what I have on my lashes today. And I like it. I like the combo. I do feel like I can see a difference when I pair this with this. Gives that just like nice fluttery volume and like separated lashes, but like nice like volume and length. It's good. I like it. I got a palette, which I'm so excited about. This is the Violet Voss Pretty in Paradise All-in-One Face and Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the outside box looks like very pretty. Here's the palette itself. So I do have this on my eyes and also on my cheeks because it is an eye and cheek palette. This is nice. I think the color story is really fun. I think it'll be fun for, you know, warmer weather. It's just got that kind of, I don't know, beachy sort of look to it. I found the mattes to be really nice and pigmented and blendable. They're like a silky formula, but like a pigmented silky formula and the metallics are beautiful so pretty let me get all these swatched for you and then i really like the cheek products too like they blended really well i didn't have any blending problems with them um the blush i'll show you in a second the blush does have some like kind of micro shimmer in it so i do wish that wasn't like there weren't little micro shimmer bits in it but look at those swatches. Gorgeous. The metallic shades are just so pretty. And the mattes are super pigmented. So I have this in my crease, a little bit of the bronzer in my crease, this in my outer corner. Um, I think I have this one. Yeah, I have this one on my lid. That's mainly what I'm wearing. Beautiful. And then I have a little bit of the bronzer. And then the, that's the blush that has a little bit of that micro shimmer in it. So that is something I would change. It's very, very subtle. Like there's not very much micro shimmer in it, but I would just like it better if it were just a matte or kind of like a satin sort of a finish to it. I love this though. This shade right there is that like go-to for me that I can use on my eyes and then on my cheeks is like a blush and bronzer, monochromatic, quick makeup look. So definitely we'll be reaching for that regularly. Love it. And I think this packaging is just so pretty. It's beautiful. And then last thing I got in here is a little set of lip liners. So this is from Misha and this is the lip liner duo. So I have both of these liners on right now. Pretty packaging. Like it feels like nice quality. So first off I got Beloved is one of the shades. I still have that glowy moisturizer on my hand and it looks, my hand just looks so glowy. Beloved. And then this one is I think Worthy. Yeah, Worthy. So I have Worthy all over my lips and then a little bit of Beloved around the outsides of my lips. And then I have the lip oil layered over the top. Really pretty liners. Like they have nice pigmentation to them. They applied nicely. Um, I would say they're not, they don't have the most glide to them, but they didn't tug on my lips either. So it's that good kind of like in between where you can, you know, get some good longevity with it. I would assume it seems like that kind of formula, but then like, you can still fill in your lips with it. You know what I mean? Like it works as a regular liner, but it's creamy enough to still fill in your lips with it too. So I like these also. Okay, so those are all the goodies that I got in my BoxyCharm by Ipsy box. So I would say my standout favorites, lip liner and the palette. I really do like those. But I also kind of really like this product too, especially since it, you know, now I'm super into the anti-aging and you know, all those kind of things. So this seems really good too, but I'm like super duper excited about the primer and the liners. So those are all the goodies that I got. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. If you want to sign up for Ipsy, I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link, but if you do, thank you so much. If you subscribe to Ipsy, I would love to know what you were excited to get or what you got. Let me know what your standout favorites were. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!